Come on, this is my favorite. I love boxing. Like the one where I'm like, mm. I never thought I'd ever see this again. Boy, it has been a while since I've seen this. You people. She's cute. Quintessential boxing. That's about it. Mm. Don't care. Still love her. Still I love, love her. you too, mm. Philip. Mm. Not sure. <laughs> creepy. Why is she in a dark room and why is she got? You're so creepy. Like, what's all this? Like, <laughs> no, you're not. You're cute. No. Oh God. No. no. <laughs> 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 why well, the only one that thinks that it's really funny that if so I was a boy, I'd probably me. look exactly like Shane Dawson? I love it. Just bold eyes. I'm a sucker for eyes. So funny and so random, and like, because you don't meet people like that. This chick gets it. I'm where being sexually attractive minus quality content would enable you to find great success. Ouch! In a press conference, <laughs> Boxy's like, mm, hi, um, this is not real. Guess what, Boxy? Nobody gives a f Guess what, Shane? I agree with you! What happened to her? Time. I'm really scared. Is she okay? Boxy! Huh. What does it say about the state it's of the sweet. internet where you just make videos and people track you down and sometimes it's You're asking a question of human moral character. Hey, Zonda, you intelligent What mother. is it that might... Me being a part of that crap. I'm still in the toilet and so is Boxy. And so are all the kids that are obsessed with her. So, poop pie five. Good... goodbye? Bye! <laughs> I've never been more filled in. Bow chicka bow wow! Should I come up with my own questions? Should I just answer the ones that the Fine Brothers asked about Boxy? I'm gonna do that. So who was that girl? Well, imaginary Fine Brother, that was Boxy. How would you describe her? She is everything positive in this world. What do you think of her makeup? It's too much. Too much. Too much. Why do you think she went so viral? Oh, you got me. No, I mean, I think that it does have a lot to do with what Brittany said about how you just don't meet girls like her. You don't meet anyone as nice and sweet and kind and compassionate and forgiving and loving and angelic as she is 100% of the time. I mean, of course, 4chan. Thanks, babe. I remember that you made a video covering Boxy early on, and some have said that you helped her become more viral. Yeah, I know. I know. I know that Philip DeFranco did that, and it was very exciting. He certainly, he certainly helped. I mean, it couldn't have hurt anything. <laughs> is this a real or a fake persona? It's real. Duh. Some have said that Boxy was trolling. What is a trolling video? Trolling just refers to someone who's doing anything just to push your buttons. The, the original two videos actually came out about a year before For Everyone, which is the most popular. And in the original two videos, I wasn't exactly acting. I was definitely making a conscious choice to be over-exaggerated and silly and goofy because who just wants to see someone sitting and talking like a normal person, that's no fun. But then a year went by, and I had stopped doing Gaia online, and then I found out that those videos had gone viral. All my family, my friends, and myself, we all went, you know what would be so funny? If you made another boxy video, like nothing happened. So in the third one, is when I am consciously acting. So in a way, I guess for everyone might be unintentionally trolling. I wasn't trying to push anyone's buttons or anything, but... Mm. People got obsessed with her. Some people thought she was the queen of the internet. Others wanted to destroy her and started tracking her down in real life. What is it about this girl? Why is My Little Pony popular these days? My Little Pony and Boxy are kind of the same, and they kind of have the same message. They're all about love and tolerance, and happiness, and friendship, and love, and all those sorts of things. So really, is it that surprising that on a website that's normally filled with gore and, and violence, and just people being downright mean, that a girl 
who is happy and sweet and kind and energetic and excited about the littlest things could have sparked some kind of hope in some of the members of that website that maybe that kind of happiness really does exist and why should it be so surprising that the exact same website that fell for this girl also fell for this show. What does it say about the state of the internet where you just make videos and people track you down and sometimes bad things even happen? It says that the world is now a more dangerous place than it ever was. If you want to put yourself out there on YouTube, you know, just be careful. Just be ready. Because anything can happen. I wasn't ready. I didn't think anything was going to happen. I never thought anyone would see those videos. Guess I was wrong. Finally, can you give us a boxy impression? What? No. Okay, seriously, like this is the thing that kind of pisses me off the most. I think that I've proven time and time again that I am the girl that played Boxy and it really pisses me off when people try to say things like, oh, well, it's not the same and she's faking now. And it just really pisses me off. Like, why the fuck should I have to prove myself to you? And you people was, was all like, you was trolling. And I was like, I am not trolling. I am Boxy, you see? Hmm.